good morning, um, Kipsters. Uh, this is um, Mr. Jennings. This is your third science lesson. Uh, I'm out the camera. This is your third science lessons about uh, inheritance and traits. Um, we've been learning uh, about the, well, last le lesson we learned about the gray wolves, and we were wondering why one gray wolf was a lighter color or had a different fur than the other gray wolves. Um, today, we're going to be focused on more uh, inheritance and traits. We're going to be focused on identifying similarities and differences in the life cycle of several different organisms or living things. And we're also going to be using a reference text to do these, um, to do this um, investigation. Um, we're going to jump right in. So, um, Right here is the second part of our PowerPoint, and uh, this is where you are going to um, label all of the living things. You're not going to do that here um, on Google Classroom. When you go into there, when you do your quiz, this will be on your quiz. It'll be that last question on your quiz. So don't have to worry about it now, but you'll circle all the living things and you will get more information about that um, when you go to your Google Classroom. So in this unit we are going to be wildlife biologists wildlife biologists are people who study different animals um across the the world and learning um what things they inherit and what traits they have and how they are just important to our world because all organisms are important they are living things so our big question uh, question is how are organisms the same and how are they different, which we're learning about every day. We've already learned a couple of different things, like even looking at that light uh, gray wolf or wolf 44. Um, it was a lighter gray while the other wolves were a darker gray co color. This, so um, our things that we inherit in our traits are things that make us who we are. They make us, uh, they tell us how we sound, look, behave. Um, different things have things that are they are inherited uh, from animals and plants. It tells them how they look, sound, and behave the way that they do. All organisms um, kind of learn things from their parents or things that um, are like them. They, we behave that way because other people uh, do that are around us, or we are in, or, or we inherit those things from um, our parents, and that tells us like what uh makes us look the way we look maybe someone says like you look just like your mom or you look just like your dad these are things that we inherited uh, we inherited those looks from our mom and our dad or grandmothers or anyone in your family for that matter so what do biologists do or study we've already learned that biologists um study different living things and they go around the country doing those different things uh like studying um, places underwater or different wildlife or things that are in the sky or just anywhere that you might see different organisms. Where do biologists work? Um, biologists work all over the world. There can be oceanographers, people who study um, animals underwater or marine biologists who also study things underwater. Uh, zoologists, like people who, are, who study the uh, zoo animals or people who study wildlife animals, or we can also have like an um, ornithologist. And these are people like who study penguins. There's different type of um, biologists who study different type of animals around the world. And biologists study all of those different um, organisms, including people. So, um, sorry. Mystery. So wildlife biologists, you will study wolves and, as being wildlife biologists, which is be all of us. We all are now like put on your wildlife biologist caps. All right. I'm put on my wildlife biologist jacket. We're all on wildlife biologists. Now we're going to study wolves in the Yellowstone National Park. Um, wolves live in a pack or a group of uh, many wolves. That they, uh, This is also called a pack. Uh, being a part of a group, no matter how big or small, often helps animals like wolves find food, defend themselves, or survive changes in the environment. So they all stick together in this pack or group to help um, defend themselves and find food and just um, build like friendship um, through each other. Uh, we also will look at photographs and other information that will help us answer questions about the wolves. Um, there's going to be a mystery about one particular wolf that we are going to work to solve, which is Wolf 44, that light gray wolf. So this is the Elk Mountain Wolf Pack or those gray wolves. Here you have a, a better picture. You can see the gray wolves. They are like a darker gray color. And then there's a lighter gray wolf, which is all the way on your far right. We're going to be trying to figure out the mystery of why is that wolf a lighter gray color? Remember, an organism is any living thing. An organism is 
good. An organism is any living thing. So um, turn and talk. If this can be someone close to you, someone around your house, could be a uh, parent, a friend, um, one of your family members. I want you to tell um, your uh, that person so far, how are organisms the same and how are they different? You can, uh, if you don't know the answer, it's fine. We're still learning. And by the end of our unit, we will know this answer. Um, but if you do, tell them how are organisms the same and how are they different? Get ready. Go. All right, organisms can be same in different ways. They can be, uh, be different colors. We can have like um, all organisms, uh, some organisms have hair like us, but also like dogs have hair. Uh, maybe some things don't have hair, like penguins don't have hair, but we do. Uh, so that's something that's different. And like I said, with the dog, we have hair and they have hair. So we can. that is one thing that's the same. A, a lot of organisms are different and a lot of organisms are the same. It all matters. Um, what characteristic you're looking for or what trait you're looking for and seeing how it is the same or how it is different. L life cycle. So this is the word that we're going to be focused on the most today. Life cycle. This is the series of changes in the life in, of an organism. Um, and we'll see different models about that shortly. So life cycle, the series of changes in the life of an organism. So this shows how something um, is born all the way to they're an adult until they, they, they die. So every organism is uh, born and dies at some point. And there's different things that happen in between. But every organism has a series of changes in the life of an organism. For example, here is the human life cycle. You see, like, it's a baby. Um, it goes from a baby to a toddler to a uh, little kid to a um, young adult or teenager um, to an adult to a, um, well, I'm gonna say this one isn't a teenager. I'll say this one is a middle schooler, um, like you guys' age, then like teenager, then adult, and then um, old, or like right before, uh, right after they are um, fully developed. So here I have a life cycle and we're gonna kind of write some things. We're only gonna write down four things. We'll put them in like two, two, and three. So first thing we know, when you are first born, you are a, what can help me out? When you're first born, you are a baby. So I'm going to put here, born or baby, I'm going to put first. This is the first thing that happens when you're first born, you are a baby. Then once you kind of grow up out of that baby stage, you then become a toddler. Toddler. So this is like that age when you like are beginning to learn how to walk, um, learning how to talk, learning um, your name, learning how to write, learning um, how to run and play different sports or different things you like. That's a toddler. Then you're going to like that middle school middle school or teenager age right so that's when you're like when you're like your age is 9 10 8 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 this is the middle school teenager age so you, you're getting older this is our life cycle then you turn to an adult Now, when you're, when you're an adult, this is when you're fully grown. So this can be like when you're um, after the age of, uh, at the age of 21 and older, when you turn like 40, when you turn like 50, 60, these are all adults. And then at adult age, this is where you might have children that are born because we're all born from our parents, from adults. Um, and then, it, and then after adult, this is usually when people also, so it can also stop here. So I can put like a, little thing here, a little arrow, and put stop or die. So once everyone, after you're an adult, everyone lives, they die at some point um, after they are uh, become an adult. So this is the life cycle of a human. So um, there's different life cycles for different things. So everything doesn't follow this same life cycle, but it is a pattern that all living things go through whether it's a plant, insect, human, all organisms have life cycle. This is just the human life cycle. So we are born, we're babies, 
we get to like toddlers, we start getting older, learn how to talk, we become middle schoolers or young adults, then we become teenagers, then we become adults, then we come become old, and then we usually and then we die. And then that is the life cycle for each human. But every organism is born and dies. Now everything isn't the same because um, we're born and we come from like and it come out as babies, but some organisms they have eggs, so that's different than a baby because we we were in eggs when we were first born. But a lot of animals um, have eggs, and that is how uh, they born through hatching from an egg. Next is the ladybug life cycle, which we want to learn more about um, um, in a video that'll come after. So ladybugs is an animal; they're not uh, or an insect. Um, that has eggs. So we don't have eggs. People, humans don't have eggs. We have babies. So uh, a ladybug, they have eggs. They don't have babies. They then turn into larva, then pupa, and then adults. And then uh, if they have an, if they have babies and they go to eggs and then larva, then pupa, then adults, and then they die. Just like a human do, something is born and then turns to an adult. And after an adult, they die. So I'm going to watch a quick video about ladybugs and how they are, um, their life cycle. Let's talk about ladybugs. There are 5,000 different species of ladybugs in the world. The species that you may be familiar with is called the seven spotted ladybug. It has a shiny red and black body with seven spots on its wings. At the beginning of their life cycle, ladybugs start out as eggs. Adult ladybugs lay eggs in clusters or rows on the underside of leaves. These eggs are called larvae. They hatch in merely a few days. The seven spotted ladybug larvae are black, long, and spiky looking. Larvae grow quickly and shed their skin several times. Once ladybug larvae are full size, they attach their tail to a leaf. Then they form a pupa. After a week or two, the pupa grows into an adult ladybug. Once ladybugs are adults, they can mate, and after mating, ladybugs can lay more eggs. An adult ladybug can lay up to 2,000 eggs in her lifetime. Ladybugs eat other insects. One ladybug can eat up to 5,000 insects in its lifetime. As ladybugs get older, they develop more spots on their back. Once they get very old, the spots will start to fade in color. Ladybugs are active from spring until fall, or when it is warm outside. In the winter, they hibernate just like bears. They will hide under logs, rocks, or even in houses. The total lifespan of a ladybug may only be one month. So let's summarize the life cycle of a ladybug. First, the ladybug is an egg. Then it turns into a larva. The larva attaches to a leaf and becomes a pupa. And when the pupa hatches, it becomes an adult ladybug. Thank you for joining me in learning about ladybugs today. I hope you've learned a lot. So that was an idea of how all ladybugs um, go through their life cycle. So like I said, we all, all organisms are born and then die, but the different stages in their life cycle are different. So um, here we're going to look at the ladybug ladybug life cycle. Who can tell me from the um, video we watched and from our PowerPoint, um, what do ladybugs start as? Good. You said eggs. Ladybugs start as eggs. So I'm going to put eggs. Once the ladybugs um, have eggs, then the eggs hatch and become larva. Then they become larva. You can also see the picture as we are going through it. After they become larva, they get older. They attach themselves to a leaf and then become a pupa. Pupa, very good. And after the pupa, it then goes into that, that final stage of becoming an adult. At that adult stage is where 
um, the ladybug reproduces or have babies and have all of those eggs that I talked about. Same thing with humans. When we're adults, we then have babies um, or reproduce ourselves and go through, through the whole life cycle again. So after the adult uh, people and different organisms just die, but often we reproduce and have different organisms that go through the life cycle just like we did. So we're going to be doing uh, using our reference book to conduct some research. So we're going to be looking at a, a couple of different organisms and learning about those organisms from the book. Uh, we're not going to read the entire book. It's kind of lengthy. Um, we're just looking at the life cycle of most of these different organisms that we're going to research. Um, because I can't physically give you guys the book, I'm going to be looking at it and you guys are just going to be following along. So using our reference, but we're going to be working with our partners. Well, we're not going to be working with a partner. I'll be your partner um, to complete a scavenger uh, checklist. We're going to use the table of contents. Remember, the table of contents um, help us not have to read the entire book, but just use um, the information from the table of contents to find what we're looking for. So find an organism that starts its life as an egg. So, oh, sorry. Go here to the handbook of traits. Um, we're going to go to our table of contents. Uh, I mean, here. So we're going to be looking for a organism that is uh, that starts off as an egg. So we have bottlenose dolphin, brain coral, uh, Denise's uh, pygmy seahorse, domestic dog, giant golden orb weaving spider, giraffe, um, harlequin ladybug, harlequin poison frog, house cat, Mexican tetra, milk snake, pea fowl, uh, peppered moth, pitcher plant, snapdragon plant, snowy owl, South American scarab beetle, um, tornado pant, uh, tomato pant, plant, uh, white tailed deer, uh, white uh, willow tree. So well, I'm gonna go here kind of kind of think here on which one of these organisms um, starts off as an egg. I'm going to guess um, that a snake lays eggs. I'm going to say milk snake is, uh, has eggs. Now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to page 26. See if we can get there like this. Uh -huh. This is Mexican tetra. I know I'm looking for the milk snake. Might be after that because this isn't. Uh, ah, milk snake. All right, so milk snake. I would end up right. I can see from the bottom of the picture um, that it starts off as an egg. So uh, one uh animal or that starts starts of it as an egg is a milk snake milk snakes are colorful striped snakes uh that are found um many places in north and south uh, america they can grow to be as long as 150 centimeters or five feet long they have smooth shiny scales young milk snakes eat slugs worms and in insects full-grown milk snakes um eat mice and frogs milk snakes are not dangerous to humans um this is our first investigation we were looking for an animal um, that uh, started off as a, an egg or hatched from an egg. And a milk snake is the first animal that hatches an egg. So we're good. Let's see where we're at next. First one, milk snake. Milk snakes um, starts his life as an egg. Next, find an organism that starts his life as a seed. As a seed. So I'm going to go back here to the table of contents. Um, here, let's see. We have to think about animals or not animals, forgive me. Um, something that starts an organism that starts his life as a seed. I know that often um, uh, plants grow as grow from seeds. So I'm going to look here in our table of contents as some, there's something that um, that is a plant. I can see on page 40 is tomato plant. Um, I know plants come from seeds, so I'm going to probably go to um, this page, see if I was right or wrong. Page 40. Uh, I know it's messed up. Oh, okay. South American scarab beetle. You can see that this also grew as an egg. Tomato plant. From here, I can see, um, hmm, it says uh, that they come from fruit and seeds or the fruit from the, to uh, the tomatoes seed 
which is um, the seed that is inside the fruit, which tells me that the tomato plant uh, starts off or begins its life cycle as a seed. So right now we're two for two. The second one that grows from a seed is a tomato plant. Going back to our PowerPoint. Find an organism that starts its life as a pupa. This is going to be a little bit difficult. However, um, let's do it. So find an organism that starts its life as a pupa. So I'm going to go to the table of contents. I know that the ladybug uh, started life as a pupa. So I might go to the scarab. Well, we've seen that the scarab beetle kind of started as an egg as well. So let's go through. Let's see if we can go through some life cycles. So we have the bottlenose dolphin. Sorry. The bottlenose um, dolphin. It started from a calf. So uh, dolphins are born like humans. They are mammals. So they go have a mom and dad, and they both have a baby, not an egg. Um, reproduction from a brain coral. Um, it starts as uh, a floating coral. So we still don't see pupa, not yet. Denise's pygmies horse. These are also um, mammals. Um, they've had a baby seahorse. So they have babies too. They don't have eggs. Wow, so something new. Um, domestic dogs. These are like the dogs in your house. Um, domestic means kind of like house. Um, they have a puppy, which is also not an egg or a pupa. Um, a giant golden orb weaver and uh, weaving spider. So they have eggs. Their reproduction, once they have babies, they're having eggs that are hatching. Still looking for pupa here. This is a tougher one. Um, giraffe. Giraffe have birth just like humans where they have a baby giraffe. So still no pupa. Um, Harley Quinn or Harquin ladybug. They have rep rep reproduction. Um, they had go for they hatch from eggs. They have ladybug larva, larva, and they have ladybug pupa. So we can say, even though they don't start like at the beginning, the Harlequin ladybug also has a pupa in its life cycle stage. So um, we're gonna pause the this video from here, and we'll start in, from our next lesson, finding an organism that starts its life um, as something interesting. Um, from on the next lesson on lesson four. So um, it was nice talking to you guys. Remember in this video, we learned about the life cycle and how every organism goes through a life cycle where they're born and then it dies. Um, but through that um, life cycle or our life, um, we become become we become babies or, or small parts of that organism or eggs or um, pupa, and then we grow into bigger things, or we get older or, uh, and turn into those bigger things, all the way until we mature as adults and have babies of our own. own. Um, so this is lesson number three, learned about the life cycle. We've seen some super interesting um, um, organisms in this video, and can't wait for lesson number four. Talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. See you later.